So let's talk about the animal clinic. Oh, that's, where we're, that's where we're sitting right now is yes. the animal clinic. It's the, it's the newest clinic on campus. Correct. So tell us about the animal clinic. Well, we really decided when we decided to do veterinary medicine, we wanted to get the clinic up and running before the students were really needing to be in the clinic because we wanted to have a presence in the community. And I can tell you that I am very, very excited about this. The university truly believes in a concept called One Health, where all of our health needs are somewhat interrelated. And when we decided to do the animal companion clinic, we knew that so many people are dependent for emotional support, for companionship, for the needs that an animal can fulfill in our lives. And so if we were gonna do veterinary medicine, we felt we had to take care of the animal in your life as well as any other needs you have. So this building has been designed to make it very easy to have the patient come in, which is our animals, and the owner come in and have full services. We have surgery, we have all sorts of diagnostic, we actually are doing a great deal of, of radiology and seeing how we can help our animals. And so this is a very full service animal clinic and we have hired some of the best vets in the valley to join us here. For most of us that have pets, they're part of our family. I mean, right. the care of our pets is, is is a very important thing in our life, and it's a stressful situation to have a pet that's not feeling well. And I see, as we were getting ready that before we started filming, the people bringing their pets in, you can just see the kind and compassion mm -hmm. that the students and the faculty are coming out and greeting the animal, and the animals respond. You know, you can just see that they relax, because we all have taken an animal to the vet, where it's usually not a pleasant experience for either of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if yeah. you can get the animal to relax, it really makes a big difference. So. I think that's absolutely true. And we've done everything we can to make this a comfortable setting for, for everyone. You know, I, I smile when I think about how we designed this lobby, but having my own Rudy in my life for 14 years, I knew that if I took him to the vet, I didn't want him near a cat. He and cats. <laughs> so this lobby is designed for a cat area, a bird area. I call this big area the friendly dog area because they be close to each other. And then on the other side of the wall, I have the dogs that don't like dog area. So in fact, when you think about this, we tried to be very holistic about what we could offer th to those with pets. Right, and to make the experience as, as calm as possible. That's correct. That's great. I'd love to talk about, there's something back, back in the back back here. And actually <laughs> the other day I went to the library and I saw a couple horses back there rolling around. The weather was wonderful and yes. they were enjoying a beautiful spring day. Um, there's horses, there's other animals back there and some barns. Can you yes. tell us about that? Oh, I'd be happy to. I think that's part of the exciting part about starting a vet school is veterinary medicine is not just about dogs and cats and kittens and puppies and all the wonderful fuzzy little animals they have in our lives. Veterinary medicine really it meets the needs of society by taking care of our large animals also. So we have 12 cows and interesting enough they are very friendly cows. We even they all have their own names, some <laughs> respond, but we have 12 cows that are going to be teaching cows. that have come in that our students gonna to have to learn how to care for a cow and take care of it. And then we also right now have 12 horses and two donkeys. And the youngest member of the entire campus is one of our donkeys. His name is Whiskey and he's all of six months old. Oh really? Yes. That's great. And he's a little character, but he's very sweet. But uh, yeah, we have two donkeys and 12 horses. When people are driving by and they see that, that's part of what the veterinarian school is, is gonna be teaching, exactly is how to right. take care of large animals. That's right, and we, we did something else I think was really important. We went out and got rescue horses, horses that needed care that no one was taking care of, and we felt that they would contribute to the education of a student because they came to us with more health needs than many other animals, and so in helping educate our students, we're also rescuing some horses. That's a wonderful idea. Yeah, that, that otherwise get, would just be out and no one's taking care that of them. Need, that needed a high level of care when they got here. That's so they correct. nurse them back to health and then they continue to learn by taking care of them. That's exactly right. That's great. Yeah. So it's been, a, it's been a wonderful piece. And I think it just adds to, you know, to our community. I mean, I see families that drive by to see if the horses are out so they can point out the horses. And, and it, it's nice, it's, it makes you feel very good. Yeah, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. It is our pleasure to be here in Glendale. We love our Glendale home. We like the community. We have felt welcomed. We feel very supported. And I think that the decision that our Board of Trustees made 21 years ago to call Glendale home was a very good one for us. And I have enjoyed every minute of it.
Well, I'm happy to hear that. And, and if, please, I mean, we are, so, we are so thankful that you're in the community. And for the citizens to know that you can bring, now you can't, I don't think you can bring a horse here no, to the animal yet. clinic. <laughs> but you can bring your dogs, cats, and birds. Is that what you yes. can bring here to the animal reptiles. clinic? Reptiles. Oh, you even do reptiles. Oh, I we do. We, someone brought us a hamster recently. Okay, so basically if it's a household pet, yes. um, they, can, they can bring That's it in. Right. That's well, right. I, I mean, I guess it's, a it's all a learning experience for the That's students, good. isn't it? It is. Fantastic. All right, good. thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much for being here. Good. I hope you enjoyed this community update from Dr. Geppinger in Midwestern University. Midwestern University is a valuable asset in our community and a huge contributor, both economically and medical services available to our citizens. If you'd like to get more information, please visit Midwestern University's website. Thank you for joining me for Glendale today, and we'll see you next time.